This is the new Rasasi Hawas Ice. Today I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about this fragrance. I'm going to tell you things that you may be disappointed by. I'm going to set your expectations right. And I'm going to be completely honestly transparent in this short review. So first, before I discuss the scent profile of this versus Rasasi Hawas, let's just talk about the presentation a little bit because I think they actually made a nice step up in presentation here. So this is the box that it comes in. Pretty much the same exact box with a different color patterning here. It's kind of like a blue metallic shine. I like that with the snake patterning going around the Hawass. On the back, you get some precautions. And on the bottom, there is my manufacture date. My Rasasi Hawass Ice was manufactured in August 2023. So that goes to show how new this fragrance is. This is like pretty much considered fresh off the press. It can't get newer than that. So now let's look at the presentation of the bottle. I really like how this bottle looks. It looks so sleek. This is kind of like a white ceramic cap that actually sits very nice on the atomizer. When I compare it to the original Rasasi Hawas, this kind of wobbles around. As you can see, it, it doesn't exactly fit properly. The new one actually sits very nice on top of the atomizer. And also the color combination here just looks so much better. Like just look at the two of these side by side. This one clearly wins in the presentation category, but obviously that doesn't really matter. On the front, it says Rasasi Hawas for him ice. On the bottom, you're gonna get some Arabic. Please, someone that speaks it, translate that for me. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna tell you what the direct translation of Hawass is because last time I got it wrong in my Rasasi Hawass review and I got eternally roasted for it so not even gonna try. Let's talk about the differences in scent profile, where this alters and changes from the original Rasasi Hawass. I could not find an exact breakdown of the notes here but I'm just gonna go on iFragrance official and tell you what their release notes are for this fragrance. The top notes are listed as bergamot, lemon, and mint with the heart notes of orange blossom, cardamom, plum, and black currant and the base notes of patchouli, amber, tonka, and sand. Wood. So as you can see, this note breakdown is a pretty different note breakdown from Rasasi Hawass. A lot of people are going into this with false expectations. A lot of people are thinking that it's going to be a completely different fragrance from Rasasi Hawass. And I think if you go into it thinking that, you're going to have very false expectations on what this is. This is an ice flanker. Anytime you have an ice flanker, it does not stray or change away from the original DNA too much. It just basically cools down the fragrance. It usually adds some sort of mint, a little higher concentration of citrus. They wanted to make it more of a refreshing, uplifting experience, and that's exactly what they did here. When I went into this thinking that this is an ice flanker, it pretty much matched my expectations, but a lot of people are thinking that this is going to be a different scent profile, and if you go into it thinking that, you're going to be severely disappointed. I see a lot of other reviewers on YouTube that were talking about this fragrance, saying that it's a disappointment, that it's a horrible release. Pure and simple, it's just an ice flanker of Rasasi Hawas. Now, what does that mean? Basically, this is about 90% the exact same scent profile as Rasasi Hawass. All they really did here is pretty much tone down the spice, tone down the synthetic sweetness, add an aromatic mint, turn up the citruses. So what you're really getting here is a smoother fragrance, you're getting a more refreshing fragrance, and you're getting a better fragrance for the warm weather. I wore like two sprays of this in the gym, and the way that it like performs off of your skin when your skin starts to warm up just makes it super pleasant, pretty much like ice. It's super refreshing. They're both very youthful DNAs. A younger man who wants a fragrance for warm weather, either of these are good, but I would say that this is the better one. And for year round, Rasasi Hawass. I always found the problem with this one is the combination of spices mixed with that synthetic sweetness. I found it a little bit difficult to wear in high heat. That's why I also said that this is good for year round. I've worn this one a lot and I wouldn't really say that I detect the amber in the tonka and the sandalwood here. This one has kind of a bubblegum synthetically sweet scent profile to it. Whereas this one is more like citrusy or fruity sweetness, if that makes sense. Both of these fragrances have like pretty much the same musky base. It just sits underneath everything. A lot of people have also said that all they said that they did is just add mint to this. Definitely not because you can definitely tell there's a slight difference and a slight variation and different concentration of the ingredients that they put in here. One thing that kind of bothered me at first is they also toned down what was like the cinnamon or the spices that was in Rasasi Hawass that I think differentiated it from those other fragrances that you could compare it to like Invictus Aqua or Invictus, right? It kind of disappointed me at first that those things were removed, but once I actually sat with this and experienced it over multiple wearings, I gotta say that not only was the wearing experience better with this, but it was also a more pleasant experience for the people around me as well. The performance of the new Rasasi Hawass Ice is exactly the same as Rasasi Hawass. The only thing that you're gonna notice the difference in the performance is that this is going to smell stronger because of that aggressive synthetic 
synthetic bubblegummy sweetness that you're getting off the top, whereas this starts off smoother. It starts off like the dry down of this, you know, because you have to get past the synthetic bubblegummy opening that this has. And once it settles down, it pretty much settles into exactly where this one starts. So the opening is better in Rasasi Hawas Ice, in my opinion. One thing I'll also mention though, is that there is a similar kind of plum note in both of these. I think that the plum is definitely toned down in this one versus here where it's a little bit more aggressive. It also contributes to the synthetic sweetness. So it's a little bit more toned down in here. On clothes, you're gonna get 12 plus hours with this. On skin, sometimes I was able to push it to the 10 hour mark. They're both the same concentration. They're both Eau de Parfum concentration. So they're not gonna sit on your skin any differently. But one thing I did notice was that with the original Rasasi Hawass, the synthetic sweetness really, really pushes and it's more noticeable than the tamed down sweetness that you're having in here. So like I said, I went into this with realistic expectations, expected it to perform like an ice flanker and it did exactly that. Because of that, I'm gonna tell you right now, straight up, if you already have Rasasi Hawass and you can get past that synthetic opening, there's pretty much no need for you to buy Rasasi Hawass Ice. Although I'm saying that it's an improvement in my opinion on the original scent profile, it's not enough of a difference for me to warrant you going out and telling you to go buy this one because it's been very, very similar to the old Rasasi Hawass. Another thing that I would say to you is that if you're having the choice between the two, you pretty much can just go with whatever one's cheaper because they're so similar in scent profile. The problem with Rasasi Hawass Ice is it is so expensive right now. I bought this actually from someone in my neighborhood for $85 Canadian because that's around what they're selling it on discounters right now, but plus you have to pay shipping and tax. So that's like taking it to the $100 Canadian mark. If you want to purchase Rasasi Hawass Ice, I'll make sure to leave in the description links to it where you can find it for the most affordable price if you just wait a year or so this is going to come down dramatically in price so i'm not going to tell you to jump out there and buy obviously because i'm not here to make money off of you but having both of these is not a big deal for me you know because i'm going to have to talk about them anyway for the average person out there if you already have this and you like it there's no point for you to get this one if you have the choice and both are more or less the same price i highly recommend going for this one over the original rasasi hawas because the wearer experience and just the blend and quality of ingredients, it really does smell like it's better in here. But like I said, we're only talking the difference of like a 5% scent profile change. Other than that, you're getting the exact same fragrance. Go into this with the right expectations. Expect an ice flanker, a more refreshing take, a more cooling effect, and you'll go into this, you'll already know exactly what to get. But don't listen to people that say it's a disappointing release because it's actually as expected. If I was to say which one I like better now that I have both, I honestly like Rasasi Hawass Ice better in my opinion, just because of all the things that I've mentioned in this video, I gave Rasasi Hawass an 8.5 and I'm gonna give Rasasi Hawass Ice an 8.75 out of 10. It's not much better, but there is a difference that in my opinion makes it the better fragrance. If you like fragrances that are perfect for summer or even year round versatility, I highly recommend that you check out this one right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.